So I spent about an, an hour observing with the binary viewers. We've looked at the Ring Nebula and the Dunlop Nebula. And this pillar is an absolute, well, quite literally a brick. No movement at all. So hello and a warm welcome to the Refreshing Views Observatory. For those of you new here, my name is Mark Radici. Now I spent the last few days building a concrete pier ready for observing and high resolution imaging. This is so good, it's so stable. It carries the C11 and the UQ6 with ease, absolutely bomb proof. And it could probably carry something much bigger. I don't know, like a small elephant or something. Now you can go and buy a pair, you can order one, get your credit card out, but this is a much cheaper approach and probably a lot stronger. Now, of course, you can't take this with you, but we're here for the duration, so it's going to stay here for the while. It's simple to make, albeit quite physical, and I'll talk you through the build process. So, let's clear this room. So we need, here's my shopping list, cement, ballast, epoxy to hold the bolts into place. We need sealer to seal the concrete in when it's dry. And we need a wooden mold. Now, with hindsight, I probably should have bought a length of air conditioning ducting or something like that. But I made my wooden box out of plywood. And then you need screws and stuff like that to hold it all together. Oh, and some rebar. And then you need an Ian to help you actually do the cementing. So a really affordable beer. There's a wooden box ready to screw to the existing concrete floor. I'm just checking it for stability while Ian does all the work. Now at this point the heavens opened, it rained so hard I had to stop filming during the actual concrete pour. With the box screwed to the floor, we had to hastily fix another block to stem a small blowout. We've also got ratchet straps around the side just to help keep the box together. So I'm absolutely exhausted now. We've just mixed how much concrete's in there, several hundred kilos, hauled it up the stairs, poured it into the box, and now we've just got to wait for it to cure. Still got to clear up, wash up, wipe everything down, but at least the concrete can now be curing. The weather was awful. It absolutely poured it down, absolutely chucked it down. At least it kept everything wet and stopped all the cement dust getting everywhere but I've just had to wipe up in here it's all so wet it's all on the sides you can see all the rainwater So I'm feeling slightly more human now, just had a wash, get all that cement dust out of my hair. And it's actually stopped raining, which is typical. We finished the work and now the sun shines out. So I've rolled the roof back, try and get the place to dry out a bit and let the concrete dry. I'm nervous, I dare touch it until it's actually properly cured. I just can't imagine if that plywood box splits and how oh, much is half a tonne of concrete pours out on the floor. So last night I was looking at Jupiter, I had my binary viewers in and you can see the shadow that Ganymede was casting on the cloud tops of Jupiter, the most amazing sight. And today I'm going to wash down the walls, get all the concrete off, the life of an astronomer, exploring the distant solar system and then cleaning observatory walls.
So a few days later, it's all set up and we're ready to go. And we've actually got a clear night tonight. So let's roll the roof back and see how this pier performs. So I can see my polar alignment is way off, but for a quick look-see before bed, we'll give it a go. There's the on switch, on switch, on switch, on switch. Power her on. We have 
of power. So I use the Sin Scan app on an old iPhone. Just log on to the Wi Fi, Wi Fi. Name star. Name star. So let's set up, let's go and catch some stars. But to do that, I can have to turn the lights off, so I will see you in just a moment. And as always, do subscribe, and I look forward to bringing you more videos as we explore the night sky. So I spent about an, an hour observing with the binary viewers. We've looked at the Ring Nebula and the Dumbbell Nebula, and this pillar is an absolute, well quite literally a brick, no movement at all. I can snap my feet looking through the eyepieces at 140 times power or whatever it is and no vibrations whatsoever. It's absolutely bomb proof, really pleased. Makes it completely different from the old sonorous pier that used to ring every time you touched it. So in terms of value for money, brilliant. In terms of rock solid stability, brilliant. So it's got to be worth it.